Hey guys, uh, look, it is Ryan Bridge Bugman, and we are at headquarters. I got a ton of cool stuff going on. This is a very, very busy time right now. Uh, lots of different things, pushing out a bunch of content, which is super cool. This particular event is always a fun event. Um, and we did one earlier last year that was about new arrivals. This is going to be an exceptionally good one um, because what I have here, I've got a box from Bugman Steve, uh, who works with the LLC team. He's out in Arizona. He lives in Sierra Vista. He lives in Cool Bug Central uh, in Arizona, and he gets a lot of neat stuff. Now, what he also does is he's cool enough that he provides me with things that I can also use in my programs out here in Pennsylvania. Um, so I will give you know, whatever's in here. I'm going to basically divvy this up. Some of this will go to Craig uh, as well so that we're all doing equally cool programs programs for our audiences. I'm going to go through a quick process here. Uh, you'll have to forgive the plants that are dangling here, probably taking your attention. Hopefully that's not too dis distracting to everybody. There's hickory horn devils. They're regal moth larvae living on those uh, branches. And I, weirdly enough, I've found that they do exceptionally well hanging over my kitchen island underneath my ceiling fan and I occasionally miss them down and they just do incredibly well right there. If I try to do other stuff with them that a lot of people normally do, they die. So I try to rear a nice small 10 or 15 batch of regal moth larva right there. It makes it fun. Um, it also makes it easy to get content, take pictures and fun stuff like that because they're always here. That said, away from all that confusion, uh, let's get back to the priorities. The priorities here are this priority mailbox. Um, I'm going to crack this open and let's find out what's here. Everything in this box could be dead. I don't know. It was supposed to come yesterday and it didn't arrive until today. Yesterday was a 90 degree, 92 degree day, I believe. And I'm hoping these things didn't cook. Now, it sounded like I might have heard some things in here, you know, scratching or clawing around. And that's good because that help tells me that hopefully there's something alive in here. But check it, man. We're going to uh, crack this thing open and see what we get. I'm trying to be careful. I don't know how Steve packaged all this fun. So I'm hoping there's a few things still left in here that we can work with. Oh, there it is. Watch all the coolness happen in here, guys. Give me one second and we'll see. You know what? Let's do this one at a time. What the heck? <laughs> Let's just do it. Man, these never get old. Check it. <laughs> it's a Hercules beetle, man. How outstanding is that? Steven, you have done well. Bugman Steve coming through for the programs here in Pennsylvania and on the eastern U.S. with some huge Hercules beetles. This is a male Hercules beetle, the Dynasties. These are native and common, and those are not pinchers. These are not pinchers. They're horns. And they use those when they're fighting over females. They'll pick each other up and push each other around and toss each other around like a couple of professional wrestlers. And the dude that's left at the end of the day, he gets the female. Outstanding, man. I love these things. I rear the Eastern Hercules beetle. And there's a, there's a video on the channel that you can see that happening as well. Um, I'm down to, I think, my last larva upstairs, my last grub uh, up in the bug main room, and that one should be in pupa right now. This is awesome, and there's more in here, so let's let's dig in, man. Let's not stop there. I want to find out what all we got going on. Um, I'm gonna put some of these things in these containers just to contain them. This is all temporary. They'll get a, they'll get actual homes here in a little bit. I just want to see what all we got. This is so cool. I'm actually gonna dump this stuff back in there too because this will give them something to, it just gives them something to be busy on. Dig around in it, walk around in it, keeps them busy. So I don't want them to get uh, too bored in there. Um, here we go. This one I can't tell what it is, but I know what I hope it is. <laughs> Dude, bug man, Steve, you are awesome, buddy. I've got, oh, where do you guys see these? So cool. These are some of the most coolest bugs. He probably got these in his backyard, man. How awesome is this? Check this. Death feigning beetles. <laughs> cool blue tenebrionids that occur in the Arizona desert, man. And I got a bunch. Thank you, Bugman Steve. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna have, but these things, they live 
for years. Um, I'm gonna get them on some fruit. I actually bought peaches at the store the other day, just by coincidence. They are gonna look, so will, it, so will it, the Hercules beetle actually. They're gonna love those peaches. That is amazing, man. I am so excited to see these things. Um, I had some of these years past that were given to me by KC, who also lives in Arizona. He's up in Phoenix. And he's also a member of the LLC team. He's our Arizona support team member out there. He's a guy who kind of hooks us up and gets us what we need when we need it. Um, super nice guy. And he got me some of these a few years back and they did wonderful. They live almost forever. They're amazing. I mean, here's, uh oh, uh oh. I think I got something fun going on here. Ooh, what did he do? Unbelievable. You guys are not gonna believe this. <laughs> This is not alive. I don't even know where to start with this thing. Um, let's just, here, watch this. <laughs> Bugman Steve came through. Look at the size of that centipede. And it's, it's not alive. This is mounted on a board already and ready to put in a display for programs. Oh my God. Gosh, I can't believe it. Look how big that thing is. These things are way cool and kind of terrifying, but you know what? This one's dead, so oh my goodness. I've got a box that that's gonna go into. I've got a display that this thing's gonna go into and it is gonna look awesome in that display. This, you know what, man? This is why I have quality people on the LLC team. This is why I'm able to do the things I do. I could not do a lot of the things I do without people like Bugman Steve. Nobody else is sending me Hercules beetles and awesome huge mounted centipedes and whatever else is in here. Let's find out, still more. Hey man, be sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like what's going on here and you enjoy it, then help me out, all right? Thanks, I appreciate your support. Take care guys. It's like Chris, oh it is Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Oh my gosh, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it could get better with the Hercules beetles. It, it might have. This is a vinegaroon. It's a whip scorpion. Wow. Anybody got to see the video, our Arizona video, when we were in Sierra Vista, which is what convinced Steve to move there, by the way. We did a nighttime hunt for vinegaroons, and we found some in that video. You got to check that video out because it gives you an idea how he finds his stuff because he's the one that helped us go get those. He knew where that location was, and we found them. And here it is, man. It is a whip scorpion, a vinegaroon, and these are the giant ones. These are the, this one isn't done growing yet, but these things, they can get pretty big, pretty beefy. That one's still got a bunch of years to go. These things live for an amazing amount of time. They are not short-lived either. Their metabolism is so incredibly slow that in most cases, you don't even have to feed these things more than once a month. It's insane how cool nature is when it comes to stuff like this. So we're gonna put him in here only because I'm not sure what else I'm gonna get out. There's something in this container, but I can't tell what it is. So I'm gonna give him some room, let him stretch his, or her, let him stretch his legs out and wander around because he's been in this container for two or three days and I'm sure he could use some, he could probably use a walk. Oh, I just can't. I can't. Christmas, baby. This is Christmas. I'm not kidding you. I am so happy right now. I want to be careful. I don't know what's going to come out of here. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, I, there it is. It just popped. As soon as I popped the lid off, it stuck a, a leg out. Oh, man. How cool are you? How unbelievably cool. It's another even bigger wet scorpion. <laughs> Bugman Steve, you are killing it today, buddy. It's another vinegaroon. Uh, I wasn't prepared for another vinegaroon, but this is so cool. All right, let's, I didn't know I was getting this kind of stuff, guys. He's just that kind of guy. All right, let's throw them down in there. Gently, nicely throw him down in there. And another one gonna stretch his legs out. Let's find out. Okay, that's, that's the lid. <laughs> he used this as a, Containment unit for the mounted centipede. Genius, absolute genius. I still got more, I still got more. Okay, I I can see what it is, but I can also tell by how shredded up the, the uh, paper towel is in there. 
it's another Hercules beetle. It's another nice big male. He's not as he's not as big as this guy, and that's okay by me, but he is just as cool, just as amazing, and people are gonna love that beetle. What is there not to love about a Hercules beetle, man? So totally cool to see big cool bugs like this. A lie. Mind blown, guys. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I knew he was gonna send something. He did warn me. That way he knew I'd be home to receive this. But I didn't know, I didn't know what. I didn't know what all he was gonna send. I just, I just knew there was something coming. So I took the weekend off because I wanted to be here if it arrived. Because I always worry that something like this would sit out in the front porch and cook in the sun. Bam. All right, all right, all right. There's another something here too. <laughs> there are more. Oh, dude, you did well. So good. There are more death fainting beetles. I'll try and get you guys a good look at one of these. They're so beautiful. Just big, beautiful blue tenebrionids that live in the desert. These things, again, guys, these things live for a very long time, and they do really well for programs. Now, they're not moving, but trust me, they are very alive. They were just crawling around. I picked them up. They're playing dead. That's why they call them death feigning beetles. They act like they're dead. How cool. And there's a third one here, too. So that's six. Six of those that he hooked me up with. Ooh, biggie. Nice. Nice, big Hercules beetle. Huge. Look at the size of the horn on that thing. Isn't it? Outstanding, man. Outstanding. Imagine what 40, 50, 100 people in an audience, imagine what goes off in their mind when they see that. Look at this thing. Imagine when they see that come out of a box alive, knowing these things are out there in the world and yet not knowing about it until that moment. That's why we do what we do, man. We educate people about bugs and insects, and this is the kind of stuff that we love to bring to audiences all over the place and show them and prove to them how cool bugs and insects really are. They're harmless. They don't hurt anybody. But somebody sees that out in the wild, they would probably go completely out of their minds. Because, I mean, what else are you supposed to think, man? But I love it. There is nothing better than a Christmas box of bugs. You know what's really bad is when the box is empty. Because that means the video is kind of over. Bugman Steve, Sarah Vista, Arizona, member of the LLC team, getting it done and helping us get our jobs done out here in the Eastern US as well. So folks, look, you're gonna get to see this stuff in videos. You're gonna get to see this stuff happening out there on social media when, we, you know, when we're going to locations, when we're educating, when we use these things to educate you right here on the channel as well. So look, if you dig this kind of stuff, if you like what you see here, please, please like, subscribe, share it. Let people know we're here. Uh, we are monetized now, which doesn't mean we're making money on it. We're just we're just capable of paying for gas once in a while if we get lucky. So we're not really, you know, we're not doing this to make tons of cash. We're doing it to educate people on the coolness and the awesomeness of bugs and insects. And you folks are part of that. So I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Whether you really, you know, dig the bugs or not, I hope you at least appreciate the education and the experience that you get here with us because these, these are just super cool things, man. We love it. Guys, thank you again for hanging out. Uh, we're done with another installment of New Arrivals. Uh, they're now going to be new Bugman pets. They're going to be up in the Bugman room, and I will eventually give another tour of the Bugman room and I'll show you folks what all I got going on up there because right now uh, we are going to be blowing up the live bugs up there in the bug man room. So thank you so much for sticking with us, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care. Have a great day, guys.